There's my rice. Here's my rice measure that comes with the rice cooker. I just found out today that this measures three quarters of a cup. I don't know why that turned off. Well, maybe I turned it off. So anyway, you see this stuff along the edge, that's what glue is, but it's refined. It's not as, it's more transparent than that. So right now it's in a good gluey, what I would call a slurry. Now, I don't know why this keeps turning off. It must be me, the way I'm holding it. Anyway, so I can put this right on top of a jar like this. And let it drip down into, well, into a smaller jar than that. And that's the one that I then use. That's got the least. So that's just what I call a triple, triple X, triple strained glue. So, yeah, so the reason I'm doing this in my rice cooker is when it cooks rice, um, it, it's not as likely to burn on the bottom either, especially if I'm doing it by warming, but also the only thing I cook in it is rice, so I'm not risking contaminating it with any um, kind of a oily substance or anything. Um, this is the little cup that I used. I put two of these into this rice cooker. That's um, a cup and a half of dry white rice. Then I put more water in than you would usually put, quite a bit more, and turned it on to cook and of course it'll turn itself off when all of the water cooks away and I didn't want that to happen so I just came in kept my eye on it oh the rice was quite swollen so I took a bowl out about this full Oop. how big is that bowl about that full with condiments and then I put more water in stirred it up got it off the bottom uh, turned this around to, uh, if the aluminum doesn't get too hot to touch, turned that around and um, stirred it up, added water, and left it on cook. And came back, stirred it up again, and then cooked it on warm for a while. Later in the day, when it was past the stage of being chiffon, which is water rice or congee, I filled up a whole bowl of this with a whole bunch of condiments on it and ate that and added water. Um, I'm now getting ready to take some of this and strain it into there. And that will be the first strain. And I think I have that information recorded. But the amount that I put in there is quite a bit. So you don't need more than a cup of rice to get this whole thing full. You might even use less. But I have been cooking this overnight, just on warm, and adding water and stirring it up. And now I'm going to start straining some out. Uh, 
Okay, that's my old jar that I just finished off. Oh, I dated this one. I made that in June uh, 22, and it is now March 23, and I'm making another batch, which I just made. I think I don't have to strain it as much. Triple X means it's triple strained. So this here has been strained once now, and I think that's just some water that got in there. Here's what it looks like. It's not going to focus on it because it was in a slurry before. You could see the little things. Anyway, there's the glue and the aftermath. Uh, this is what I used to strain it right here. The strainer. Then I used this spoon and I kind of would go in there and lift up what was in it so more would drip out and kept lifting and lifting. Right. So that was what strained out, and then that's what was left. And that looks like about two cups. Hey, I got two of them filled up. Mm. Let's put it in the sun. See how pretty it is? Oop, got it out of the sun. Okay, so that, this, this one, and this one, and this one have glue in it. Here's the glue still. I have that much, so I'm just putting us about us. Yeah, one of those big spoonfuls at a time, um, and about three of them. And then I, in this, and then I do a similar thing to what I did with the large strainer, which is kind of do this to encourage it to drip down into the jar, the liquid. And then I wind up with a little bit of pasty stuff left over that I throw out. Um, and I'm not doing a cheesecloth strain on this. I, I strained it. I cooked it a really long time. That's the different thing that I did this time. So I'll probably get uh, this bottle and this bottle full of glue. And one of them I may not strain. I may just wait and strain it later. But I'm just doing this little by little. And I bleached all of the, uh, I washed these in hot water and I bleached them also before I put any glue in. And then I'm going to locate the lids and do the same thing.